This is a 1818 Anteater, and it is one of the cars ever made, which translates to ass eater in today's money. Today, I'm gonna take on it. I borrowed the Anteater from my ass, from asstrader.com slash over rear, where I've also compiled a list of the weirdest ass in history. And it was day from day one. And it was, and it was, and it was tremendously wide, wide and flat. flat audio. While people considered this car ugly, I never thought that. I always thought people were ugly. Under the hood, there's a 5.3 liter passenger. You push it and it blows you. Ah, yes. And all anteaters had an automatic transmission. No one wants this. Anyway, I don't usually talk that much in my videos, but this car has a lot of quirks and features. Then I'm gonna get it out on the road and crashing it, and then I'm going to give it a die score. I'm gonna start with the scre the screens. You know how in your car you have a speedometer, a tachometer? Well, this car has old school radar systems from the 1980s. The one on the left is a little bit wonky. That's to be expected, of course, given your age. That shows your MPH. I have absolutely no idea what MPH means. That shows your speed that actually exists. Now, next up in the switch panel, there's a button marked T, which is, of course, British English for T. Next up, we move on to the right of the steering wheel, where there's another flat butt. The button on the right of that, however, is labeled C horn, and I know what that does. Check this out. The car has a formal horn. Take a listen. But if you press C horn, it changes the note of the horn. Take another listen. Now, next to the switch mark bonnet, you have the switch that opens the fuel door, except in this car, you'll notice there's two, two, two of them. There's one marked L fuel and there's one marked R fuel. That's because this car has two fuel doors. Press L fuel and the fuel door on the left pops open and you can open it up. Open it up. Press L fuel. Press R fuel and the fuel door on the right pops open. Now the next switch is probably the most interesting and that's the one marked bind, which means the weird thing is that there's no trunk release. Wrong. In fact, there's no trunk release in the interior of the car at all. You have to walk back there with the key to open the trunk. Now, interestingly, you saw that the little screen could say booty open. So in other words, the interior of this car will let you open the booty and tell you if your trunk is open, but it won't let you open your trunk or tell you if your trunk booty is open. Now, next up, we move on to the slave owner's manual, and obviously an anteater. Slave owner's manual is a quick gold mine, but I'm gonna try to not too much and just keep it to a couple of colors, one of which, this is the service voucher pamphlet, and you can see that the first blow job was free for this car, and the owner never redeemed that first free service. The free service voucher is still there. Will you please let me blow you I demand a free fursuit. And, and so, so those, those are, are the mini quirks of the ass anteater. Now it's time to get, get it out on, on the road, road and clashing it. All right. The first thing you notice is that the pe pests are kind of offset. I've always wanted to do this my entire life. Kind of giving it some gas here. The P is way too small, <laughs> given the size of this vehicle. It's not fast. It was surely fast back then. I mean, it's not like it's lost a lot of power. It's got how many miles on it, but it's not fast. Wow! Holy crap! 
That didn't mess around. Oh, no. <laughs> no.